Hey Soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we are doing what are your recent signs and synchronicities trying to tell you exactly at the moment. And to do this reading we are going to be picking three piles together. So let's see what we get for today's reading. Ah, one two i guess this one and three let's see what we have so for pile number one we have wisdom for pile number two we have healing chaos and for pile number three we have trust If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, we have the bloodstone point, And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, we have the fluorite point, And this is what your crystal looks like. And for pile number three, we have the sodalite point and this is what your crystal looks like. Right, so take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And that's probably the pile for you here today. As I always say, if you feel drawn to more than one pile or perhaps today you feel drawn to all of the piles, trust your intuition because it will always guide you to your message and what you may want to hear today. And so whether you're just drawn to one and you know, that's your pile. That's it. Uh, perhaps you're drawn to several and you know, you know, I feel drawn to b both these piles, perhaps this more than the other. I'll watch this before this one. Or maybe today you feel drawn to all of them. Sometimes you guys ask me, is it too much if I watch all of them? If you're drawn to them, it's never too much. Your message will all it is for you to hear. Nothing is ever too much for you and will always be here for you to tap into it whenever you're ready. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hey soul family, welcome to your pile preparation and shuffling process. It is so lovely to have you here. And as you know, we're preparing for today's reading on what are the signs and synchronicities trying to tell you at the moment. Cannot wait to get into your reading today and, you know, to have a closer look at what the signs um, that you see are trying to tell you. Uh, it's a topic that I really love, so cannot wait to get into it. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in any of the decks that I use, do know that I list them down in the description box. Okay, so we kindly want to know for the three piles today, please, what are their signs and synchronicities trying to tell them at the moment? Thank you. So one, two and three okay 
Let's pick up your next deck for today. And shuffle with intention. What are your signs and synchronicities trying to tell you at the moment? Whoa. Okay, I'll take this one for the... Th Actually, I'll take all of them from the pile that fell and thank you all right let's now pick up your tea leaves and as we always do the tea leaves i divide them into the number of the piles that we have so for today we're going to divide them into three and we'll shuffle each section for each pile what are the recent signs and synchronicities that you have been seeing at the moment trying to tell you? What have your signs and synchronicity been trying Ooh, to been trying actually to be honest, I feel like the three of them here a lot, but it, it is what it is. We value what we get here. What have, thank you, that's clear. The signs and synchronicities at the moment been trying to tell you. Right, so now your oracle cards are ready. Let's now pick up your tarot decks and shuffle with intention. What are your signs and synchronicities trying to tell you at the moment? We'll be taking two cards from each tarot deck for every pile, of course. So what are your signs and synchronicities at the moment trying to tell you exactly? I feel this one. One, two, and three. What are your recent signs and synchronicities trying to tell you at the moment? There. <laughs> These are three. One, two, and three. Okay. Let's pick up your next deck and ask, what are your recent signs and synchronicities trying to tell you at the moment? Two, one, and one, two, and two. I also feel this one, so I'm going to take it. That's three. recent signs thank you and synchronicities trying to tell you at the moment thank you all right so our three piles for today's reading are now ready let's put them together neatly so we'll pick this one up So that is pile number one with the bloodstone point. That is pile number two. With the fluorite point. And that is pile number three. Right there. 
with the shoulder light point. There we go. So your three piles for today's reading are now ready. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I always appreciate it and feel your energies. Love you guys very much and so proud to have you as my soul family and wish you the best moving forward in your life. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the bloodstone point as well as wisdom. So this is what your card looks like. And let's take a look at how that fits into your reading. We're taking a look at what's the signs and the synchronicities that you've been seeing recently trying to tell you. So my dear pile number one, you have uh, the earth element, let me adjust that, with persistence, patience, and practicality. Hmm. Okay, so we have this wisdom grounding, persistence type of uh, energy so far, but let's see. You have, ah, Saturn and Sagittarius with fulfillment. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. All right. You have tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. Love that for you, my dear pal number one. <laughs> Love that. All right, let's take a look at the rest of your cards and see overall what this message is trying to tell you exactly with regards to the signs you've been receiving. So you have the King of Cups. You have the uh, you have the lovers. You have uh, the two of wands with possibilities. You also have the full card. You have the queen of wands the oh the lover's card again oh my god do you see that right in conjunction with each other so for a lot of you just want to take just want to mention this because it's quite clear for a lot of you this one of your signs could really be insistent is insisting that you're going to get into a loving relationship into your in your life but that's very specific it pertains to someone listening you also have the six of pentacles uh, and you have the seven of cups i see a lot of things actually a lot of things which, which could tell me which does tell me actually that the signs and synchronicities that you've been seeing are showing that you're about to begin receiving one wish after the other because you know the seven of cups is about fantasies and dreams and visualizing and thinking and hoping you know yeah fantasizing so you could have a lot of dreams that you wish for and you're about to celebrate these dreams coming into your life one after the other isn't this such Oh, such sweet synchronicities. We already see it here. <laughs> and yeah, it's very clear to me, pile number one, that you will feel the deep gratitude very soon with all of these dreams coming true for you. See, the six of pentacles is has a lot of meanings, but one of its meanings is charity, to give freely and i see that you are going to experience a lot of kindness from the universe in this phase of your life with the earth element it reminds me of the 10th sephiroth the malkuth where where things come from the void or the ether into the 3d into the world and so i see that maybe you were visualizing it 
and now it's coming into your life. You're going to be feel very lucky soon, my dear pile number one with the queen of wands. You emotionally and energetically, you will feel on top of the world. King of Cups, Queen of Wands, the excitement is surreal. It's unbelievable. And it's a hit of luck. It all, it's almost going to feel like a hit of luck. And the reason I say that is because here we have the um, lottery talisman. The talisman of the lottery, of winning the lottery, actually. So, yeah, with fulfillment, it's like all of these new things that are coming into your life are going to feel like a hit of luck but it's your gift from your universe you know what this is just the topic for the next reading let me write it down one second uh, your reading uh, definitely uh, gave me a message to do this reading okay so let's explore the possibilities here the explore the amount of things that are about to come into your life now so your recent signs and synchronicities have been saying that for a lot of you, obviously, this this is framing your reading here. There is someone coming up for you. If you are single and looking and that resonates with you, then there is definitely a very loving romantic relationship coming into your life with the Queen of Wands. This is and the King of Cups. This is very passionate, very loving, very warm and very uh, endearing. With the talisman here. I see that you are going to be fulfilled financially. There's a lot of wealth, a, a lot of wealth coming in for you that is really going to make you feel fulfilled financially. Also, with the exploration here and the ego flying, some of you may be flying to another country yeah it, it could be either a vacation or you moving somewhere else that is more favorable for you i see here you're taking the risk you're just doing it you got the opportunity and you're just going for it um, pile number one i also see something very specific here i see that your recent signs have been telling you that you are healing and growing. Um, you're getting better in terms of how you feel emotionally. You're more grounded and more stable. You're yeah, you're you're healing from a place from a place of from a deep place is what I want to say. You're healing from a very deep place. Uh, it's not you dealing with things superficially, but you're really uh, getting into a phase where you love yourself so much, you love what you're seeing about yourself and your life, um, you're getting more and more into that. Um, you're, you love who you are, you love who you've become, you are happy about the healing that is happening or about to get into that. And uh, your inner child, because we see in, in depth, going in depth, your inner child is really healing. So this next phase of your life, you have, we see you in a more grown, mature version of yourself. And of course, more, more grown and mature, we're talking about uh, energy and vibration in terms of you healing and feeling grounded and loving everything about yourself and your life. So yeah, nine is an end of a cycle. So a lot of the synchronicities and the signs you've been getting are kind of celebration, congratulating you for doing that wonderful work and for you healing this way and allowing the energy to flow through you so that you allow new possibilities to enter into your life and allowing for your dreams to come full circle and come true for you. Uh, my dear pile number one, we see that energetically, do you see it looks like a spider web. Energetically, you've become so strong that it's easy for you to catch your dreams now. They, they stay with you. Perhaps this tells me that in the past, you could have had some of your dreams happen, but maybe something happened. Something always happened, like uh, they they went away too quickly. 
and so it kind of may have given off the impression of too good to be true or something that was really wonderful that would stay for a little while and then go. Yeah, it's like it wasn't staying. And perhaps this is talking about a change of energy in terms of things no longer coming and going quickly in your life. But now is the time where you've grown so much and you've healed so much that energetically you're strong and things are staying with you in your life the blessings that you're getting they're not perhaps um uh, they're not leaving your life because you're no longer afraid of losing it and so with that type of stability things are sticking with you forever you know um the blessings that you're getting the kindness that you're getting is staying with you forever you no longer have to worry about things leaving although you're at this stage you're not going to be worried you've healed a lot and but at the same time i mean they are going to be stink it's good to know that uh, they are there there to stay so look out for a time of great celebration and enjoyment in your life of these many dreams coming true for you let's uh take a look at your cards and see timing when can you expect your major dreams to start coming true i will pick up your cards and i will take out one card for each of the clear wishes that i'm seeing and please there do know that there's so much more to come than what I'm seeing. Uh, there are many dreams coming true, but these are the very clear ones that I see. Finan finances, huge finances, healing and loving your life, enjoying your life, uh, a love relationship. Yeah, that's the main uh, things that I see. So for wealth, for pile number one, uh, the... When are the signs and synchronicities leading to that, please? So that's for the wealth. Healing, please. Time for the healing. Thank you. A relationship. Ah, see this one. Do we see anything else? Healing, wealth, and relationships. Oh, traveling. Some of you will be traveling. Let's take a look at timing, my dear pile number one. With wealth, oh wow, <laughs> the magician with one. My dear pile number one, this looks like it's something that is manifesting right away. You know, the magician is a card of manifestation. One, this is obviously uh, happening as we speak. So look forward to great wealth entering your life. It's almost going to be unbelievable the amount and the way it's coming into your life. So a lot of good luck with that, uh, my dear pal number one. Wow, that was straight away. Thank you so much. Okay, healing. You enjoying your life, loving everything about your life. Three of wands, experiencing. <laughs> so with the flowers... Things start to things starting to blossom. This reminds me of both the autumn or the fall as well as the spring. So from the autumn, you've been seeing great progress in your life, great healing. This tells me that a lot of yeah, even when I was reading this pile, I already felt that you kind of gotten started to get into this uh, reading already. So from the fall, it's going to progress up until March. And by March, your life to all together would have changed. And I see you absolutely enjoying your life, enjoying everything that you have, enjoying yourself, enjoying your environment. Yeah, you're from the fall up until March, it's progressing until that's, you can consider that the beginning of your real life where everything that you love is happening uh, totally healed uh, you've become stronger and you're enjoying your whole life uh, my dear pile number one relationship 
page of cups with understanding. A lot of you with this uh, prison here, especially that one of them is on the outside and we see lovebirds. <laughs> one of them is on the outside, the other is inside. I feel like energetically you've been taken away from this love um, arena for a while. And I see that the doors are now opening up for that to happen. Now, timing. Pages are the beginning of a new phase. So it's from the ace to the tenth, the tens, and then from the pages to the uh, kings. So this would tell me beginning of the year. Beginning of the year, however, I see that you're going to start noticing or getting in touch at least with that person that you may be with later on. So when exactly is it going to form? I don't know, maybe by summer or maybe by spring. I, I don't know. But you will start seeing this person at the beginning of the year, perhaps right away. You never know. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing in terms of you being in touch or seeing, yeah, seeing that person. That's the beginning of the year. Of course, this is a timeless reading, but if you're watching this now, then the timing um, is relevant to you. Traveling. Some of you will be traveling. If this is one of your wishes, then it's definitely happening because the key card here is wishes coming true. Um, traveling. Whoa, breakthrough. This looks like straight away because... Um, it gives off the energy of you being in between worlds. It's something that you're about to do, especially with the Fool card. We see the Fool has already taken the steps. Uh, some of you could be already thinking about it or it's about to pop into your life. So traveling is definitely something that is right away, especially that with the Justice card, you know, it could be legal paper. You even... Uh, needing to very soon prepare your passports, legal paper to travel. Yeah, so that is certainly right away. And that's what I see in terms of your timing, uh, my dear pile number one. And this is exactly what I see in your reading of what your recent signs and synchronicities have been trying to tell you exactly at the moment. Pile number one, love <laughs> your signs and synchronicities are so cute. Love everything that's happening for you. May you always get your wishes coming true. This is exactly what I see and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac Tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channel. It's the first link in the description box. And please... Don't forget to check out my productivity book, My Dear Pile Number One. This book could really help you out in your journey. As I always say, it's small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But you'll find that it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the journey. And so if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. There's also an audiobook if you love listening to your books. And my dear pal number one, it was a real pleasure doing this reading for you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. All the best of luck and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the fluorite point as well as healing chaos. Very interesting. I wonder how that fits into your reading. Let's keep it right there. And we're taking a look at what your recent signs and synchronicities have been trying to communicate to you. It's really cool because your pile got three tea leaves as we were preparing for it. So I'm so excited. I wonder what this is all about. You have the sixth house with... Can you see that? Yes, I think you can. With establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. Hmm. It's interesting because it kind of goes along with healing chaos. 
you also have Mars in Sagittarius with domination. Okay. By the way, if you hear any background noise, heads up, this is my dog. I always keep him next to me. So thank you guys for understanding. You have Apple. <clears throat> Temptation will test you. Interesting. Okay. You have, how about we keep it right there? You have shield. You need to defend yourself. And you have ink pot. Problems to be resolved. Interesting. Because that kind of the last card shows us what's what this whole thing is talking about here in detail. Uh, explained by this card as well. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the emperor. You also have the seven of wands. Yeah, we can see you probably facing many, th many uh, challenges at the moment. Trying to finish uh, or get over some chaos or some challenges. You have ooh, the knight of wands with intensity. That's wonderful. You have uh, the, oh, the, these are not apples. They look like prunes. Or they could be apples, actually. So we have ripeness with the nine of pentacles. See? All right. You have the nine of wands. You have three nines so far, emphasizing an end of a cycle. That's what nines mean numerologically. So I have a nine and nine of wands and the nine of pentacles. We can clearly see that there is finally an end of a chapter in your life in terms of the chaos or the many challenges that you have to handle at the same time. And we see you winning right there. This is so cool, pile number two. You have, see, you have the death card. This is exactly what your signs and synchronicities have been trying to tell you. There is an end to all these uh, challenges that have been happening. You have the Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. Wow. Things are going to start moving in a very different way, in a different direction. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So with the apples ripening, I see that there is a major change coming quickly into your life that is taking you uh, away from these challenges or ending it for you by perhaps putting you in a higher position or providing you with the resources to overcome all of these challenges at once. These blessings coming in are coming in aggressively. That you expect major, yeah, we said that. Expect major changes to happen in your life. Not something small at all. These major blessings are going to be so strong that they really will shield you forever from the type of challenges that you are currently facing. So if you have some worries, if you have maybe things that are nagging or people that are bothering you or difficult problems that are causing a lot of difficulties in the in your practical everyday life do know that everything is about to change in your life your routines uh, the things you do in your life how you experience your life everything is like a destructive tornado coming to end what you know now and put you in a new phase of your life. I'm going to explore this new phase for you. But with the ink pot, you know how when something is divinely written, the ink has dried and that is that. So what you're about to get into your life is staying there. It's written for you to have it. And it's a major change. We can see that with the Knight of Pentacles that... As opposed to these new crazy times now of things 
changing very quickly, things were very slow. Things took its time. You know, you've been waiting for this blessing and for this change for a long time. You've been seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities and nothing has been happening. But with the ripeness, this means that all of the signs and synchronicities you've been seeing, you know, perhaps your tarot readings, the signs that you've been seeing yourself and you know it's giving you a promise, all of these things that have been promising you something, now it's ripened. You are about to get it now. And so as I'm not going to do like I've done with the other pile of uh, taking a look at timing because this is really telling us with the Nine of Pentacles that your wish is coming true now. It's happening as you as you're watching this reading. It's about to come quickly and suddenly into your life. Although it has been very slow. We see intense energy here with the knight and the page of wands. Uh, from slow to very quickly. And that's what we see with the tornado as well. So how about we explore what this huge change is. I know it's a general reading and for everyone watching, the, the common factor here is that there is a, a, a grand change. Each one will have a grand change that will serve them in a different way. So for this reason, I will pick up your tarot cards and I will see the different scenarios uh, of what type of grand change is happening for you. Can we kindly get more information, please, on what are the changes? Oh, thanks. That pile number two will be seeing in their lives. Uh, the different scenarios. Oh, this one as well. Okay, that they can expect, please. Obviously, these two are significant, so I'm going to keep it there. And let's take a look at your cards. They're making, maybe they're making way for these cards. You have the star card with silence. This is, of course, right away telling me that your dream, and we should have known that with the nine of pentacles, your, your biggest dream is coming true. So that's a cue for a lot of you. Your biggest dream is coming true. You have this popped up, uh, popped out as well. You have the Six of Pentacles with Compromise. So the Six of Pentacles is generosity, charity. So you're going to be given what you want and with so much kindness. This is so sweet. Okay, it's speaking to you in the exact way that you wanted it to manifest. You have, wow, pile number two. <laughs> you have the Ten of Pentacles with we are the world. So again, the Ten of Pentacles is the full manifestation and the success of what you were trying to work at and what you were trying to do and what you were trying to achieve. So this is kind of like speaking to you directly on what you know. You ha Oh my God, you have the strength card with courage. This is showing you this is sim uh, quite similar to a message that came of pile number one. And so if you were drawn to that as well, this is certainly your pile. See, we see a flower blossoming from a dead wall, giving us the idea that things can happen in ways which we do not expect at all. And so if things look barren at the moment, like how would this happen if I'm going through that? kind of situation do know with this strength card that everything is possible everything can happen and the power of manifestation is far bigger than when what we imagine it to be so yeah again emphasizing on the idea and these cards came out out of the way to make way for this strong message that what you've been hoping and dreaming for is going to happen my dear pile number two Sun card. Your cards are just amazing. <laughs> so with the innocence, the sun card is, of course, a new day, a new bright day into your life. Innocence here tells me to look forward to this dream coming true the way a child believes in magic. You know, the innocence of a child. We tell 
um, our children um, to believe in Santa Claus, and they do. We we tell them stories of fairies and <laughs> magicians and all of these things, and they believe it. And perhaps they're not in the wrong, really. Um, perhaps, maybe, they are right in a lot of the things they believe. Maybe not in Santa Claus in specific, but maybe in terms of their intuition and in believing that there is more, there is magic, uh, tuning into that part uh, of ourselves. You know, the more we live in the 3D world, the more we perhaps are taken away from this magic. And in this phase of your life, uh, pile number two, you will be reminded just how magical the world could be. Uh, just when it's time to experience something, when it's written, it's going to come out of the blue, whether we like it or not. If it's time for it, you will experience that magic. And this is exactly what I see here in your reading in terms of the the huge change. Uh, 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 pile number two, huge change. Uh, aggressive but in a good way, change happening in your life, shifting your whole world. You're not going to be experiencing your life. Mark my words. You're not going to be experiencing your life uh, the way you are now in your near future. And I do remember we saw a card that said right away, the nines. Yes, the nine, nine, nine. Things are ending now and they're beginning for you. And the way these cards came out of explaining how something could happen, although you may not expect it, are now leading me back here. So now I understand your message even better with shield and domination and healing chaos. So your signs and synchronicities have also been telling you something very major. They've been telling you because there are so many magic experiences that you're going to be seeing, the way you're seeing your signs and synchronicities, your signs have been here to help you over, uh, help you win over your destructive maybe thoughts or chaotic worries over the type of challenges and what you have to go through, telling you that it, you are going to pass through this quickly, quicker. When it's time, it's going to be quicker than a blink of an eye. It's going to happen very quickly for you, this transformation. And since this is going to happen in this magnificent, magical way, it's definitely, ah, oh, yes, the ripeness of the apples. It's happening now to you. And so since it's already taking form and shape and getting into your life, I see that your recent signs and synchronicities have been training you with hope, giving you blinks of hope so that you overcome these um, worries and these pains and, um, and, and to heal, just like pile number one with the heart here, to heal, allowing more of this energy to come into your life. The more you heal, the more you have faith, you more you're, the more you are vibrating with gratitude, knowing that you're not alone, you're being taken care of, the more you allow this energy to enter into your life very quickly. And that's another thing that I see specifically about what your signs and synchronicities have been trying to tell you a, a very important point here as well. And everything in your reading has been saying now, now, the ink, the drying ink and the scroll, we see that the time is now. The ripeness of the apples that has been signified here. The time is now. The three nines that we saw in your reading, the time is now. Your dreams are about to come true, my dear pile number two. I wish you all the best of luck with that. Your biggest dream as well. Your All your dreams, what your 
biggest dream. All these signs have been telling you that your biggest dream is about to come into your life. So I wish you all the best of luck, my dear pile number two. May you always enjoy a wonderful life. And I'm so happy that you're about to enter a new cycle and a new beginning of a joyous life. <laughs> may you always enjoy the blessings coming in for you and may you always live a beautiful life. This was your reading, my dear pile number one. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac Tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channel. It's the first link in the description box. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book. My dear pile number two, this book could really help you out in this journey throughout your whole life. Whatever you want to begin and finish, whatever you want to manifest, this book will really be your best friend. It's a very small read. It's small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate reading it. But you'll find that it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. And so if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. There's also an audiobook if you love listening to your books. And my dear pal number two, I loved uh, listening to your reading. <laughs> it is so positive, so beautiful, so kind. And I wish you the best of luck with what's coming and for you to see your signs and synchronicities manifest into your life right now. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the card trust as well as the soda light. So let's take a look at the rest of your cards and see what the recent signs and synchronicities have been trying to tell you exactly. So you have Neptune, dream and transcend. Let me adjust that so you can see it. There we go. Dream and transcend. Okay. You have Jupiter and Scorpio with manipulation. Okay. And you have grasshopper situations in the balance that require a careful handling. Okay. Mm. All right, let's take a look at the rest of your cards. So you have the Six of Swords, and I love this specific Six of Swords. It has a unique message in my point of view. And you have the Ace of Swords. You have, wow, that's an extra card in the deck, the Master card. All right, that's really cool. You have the Five of Wands with Totality. Hmm. That also is very significant, okay? You have the Eight of Cups with Letting Go, really cool. You have the Empress. The Ace of Wands. The Three of Wands. And you have the Magician card. Wow, okay, then this, I guess, would come here. Okay, that's a very cool message, my dear pile number three. Okay, this is going to sound a little crazy, but, but, but I swear this is what your reading is really showing me, my dear pile number three. I did not expect that at all but this is really really cool so let, let's let me show you around what I see so first of all with Neptune you know why they um, uh, relate Neptune to art and they say smoke and mirrors and illusion because Neptune is a doorway to higher dimensions and through this doorway um, where artists channel 
uh, their ideas, where when we channel and use our intuition for when you pick your cards or when you read your tarot cards or see your signs and synchronicities and get a gist of what it's saying. All of that is through a doorway and Neptune gives this type of energy. It's, it's, it represents a doorway to higher dimensions. Now, look at that. We see that along with manipulation, giving me the understanding that your signs are telling you that you are able to manipulate energy in order to attract the things that you want from the ether down to the 3D. And that's what we see with the grasshopper. Your signs are telling you that with your trust and belief, you are, you are a, a, a master manifester. Do you see that? A master manifester. The Ace of Wands has to do with creation, bringing something into life. Almost like, a, you know, a magic wand. In fact, speaking of magic, you have the magician card. And so your sign, your recent, especially your recent signs and synchronicities have been trying to show you that you are a master manifester and you have the capability of achieving and getting what you want into life by trusting, by believing you know, the sodalite is a stone of that helps that helps us with our mind. It helps us think with our physical mind and our energetic mind. It clears our mind and helps us to think cognitively very well. And so here I see that with your mind, by visualizing things in your mind, my dear pile number three, you will be able to manifest everything that you want into reality. In fact, I like this five of wands because usually with the five of wands, we see struggles, we see people competing and fighting with each other. Here, we see things coming together. And so I see, your, I see that your, sign, your signs are telling you that things can work out for you, especially in the areas that are you're worried about or the areas that you could be struggling with. Things can start energetically moving in the way that you want by simply visualizing. You have the capability of manipulating energy. Believe me, pile number three, I, oh, it's so clear in your reading. And the six of swords here, Usually the Six of Swords is like moving to the other side slowly. But here we see the Six of Swords gliding on ice. And so I see that your signs and synchronicities these days have been saying, go back to your element with the Eight of Cups. Let go of the struggles and the worries internally, emotionally more than anything. And go back to your element. You see the water falling from the plant and going back home. Go back to your element. Your element is your capabilities with manifestation. You are a magician. And the more you use this power, the more you believe it by heart. The more you will know nothing else but it. And your, your signs have been pointing to that fact. Perhaps they've been showing you. Maybe you've been seeing videos of how to manifest. Or maybe you've been re recently reading things about making things come to life, Th something like that. I'm sure you must have come across something like that recently because this is what your signs have been talking, is talking about. See, the swords is about the mind, mentally, clarity. And so if you visualize with the Empress, Empress has to do with creative energy, right? The Neptune energy. And so when you visualize things clearly in your mind, do you see that? You will be able to manipulate energy into creating what you want in your life, just like a magician. It's really all about using your trust and your mind to visualize and believe. And believe me, pile number three, for you, it's coming to life. You have that power within you. In fact, 
with the you going back to your element it is like if um you've been taught to manifest with other things please use it don't get me wrong like uh, things like you have to study to succeed absolutely true even if you're manifesting we also have to manipulate energy by taking action but i mean your element is visualizing and believing and as you take action with that mindset you are capable of bringing whatever you want in your life come to life if you weren't able to um decipher the recent signs and synchronicities and specifically these recent ones this is exactly what they've been telling you they've been telling you to go back to your element of being a master manifester to manipulate energy by imagining things clearly in your mind and you will see my dear pile number three that you just like the grasshopper you'll be able to take leaps in your life great leaps in your life by achieving every single thing that you want you know if i were you uh, that's just a personal thing that i'm saying but really if i were you pile number three and i had this master power i would visualize every morning <laughs> I would visualize every. I mean, if I ever get a reading like this, telling me I'm a master, uh, clearly telling me that I'm a master manifester, just a, an advice. I would totally visualize what I want every single day to get it easily like that and quickly into my life the way you are capable of doing that, my dear pile number three. And so here I see with the five of wands instead instead of struggling to connect or to achieve what you want before you work on something that like let's say you're going to communicate with someone that is difficult to communicate with or you are struggling with a certain responsibility or a task or you're struggling to pay something off whatever type of struggle this is. Instead of just going through it, because the Three of Wands is charging, going on a new journey, instead of just going through it, manifest in your mind before you begin that it's going to go smoothly, that it's going to work out well, it's going to work out in your favor. Vibrate and imagine clearly this energy before you begin. And you will see, my dear master manifester, that you are going to make things work in your favor, bend in your favor. You will see that you will be able <clears throat> to manipulate energy. It's your element. It's your forte. It's what you do best. Whether you realize it or not, it, it, the more you use it, the more you see it's a piece of cake for you. Because, you know, the more you do something, the more you understand that you have it, as opposed to, you know, thinking, with, uh, guessing that you have it. Doing something from a mindset of, I guess, I think I have it, is one thing. And doing it from a place of experience, having tried it a thousand times, believing in it, and it works, is a, is a totally different thing. And the more you try it here, the more you see what you're capable of. And that's by tapping into full belief, the whole cycle of full belief, imagining in your mind clearly what you want to happen. The more you'll see that it does work out for you, that you're able to manipulate energy. And you will see that the more that you do it, the more you'll absolutely believe and understand and know <laughs> that you're able to do it, whether other people believe it or not, you will know. And the more you'll be able to use that confidently to your favor. You have been granted this power, obviously. You are a very responsible person who will use it for the greater good. Uh, my dear pal, number three, you know, you're, you're kind of, con you're kind of, you're very connected here to the other side. And, um, it's time for you to start using that with full force. Perhaps it's going to help you or be part of your spiritual journey. And you need to trust it and be part and, and, and 
tap into that magic that you have now and begin that journey of manifesting what you want and who knows what else you'll be doing with that. I, 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 it must be part of your spiritual journey, my, one way or the other, my dear pile number three. And this is exactly what I see in your reading, what your signs and synchronicities have been specifically trying to tell you at the moment. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I see and I wish you all the best of luck with that. This is so cool, <laughs> pile number three. And if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channel. It's the first link in the description box. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book, my dear pile number three, speaking of manifestation. This book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it, but you really learn how to be a productive person through it. It has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process, you know, talk about energy. And so if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to this ebook down in the description box. There's also an audiobook if you love listening to your books. And my dear pal number three, it was a real and true pleasure doing this reading for you. Thank you for tuning in, wishing you the best of luck in your life. And I hope you enjoy, <laughs> I'm sure you will, <laughs> your manifestations power, manifestation powers very soon. And my dear pal number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.